Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission Scouting the Port, where we'll learn pointless skills that are never to be used again in this game. Hi, and welcome back. My name's Dan, and I'm an old, grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5, as we look at the Grand Theft Auto mission, Scouting the Port. And don't forget to hang about until the end to catch our bonus tips. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this mission can be a bit trying. The section with the shipping container loader is widely considered the most pointless minigame in GTA, even more so than the yoga. But to get gold in this one, we'll need to avoid damaging the containers, take all three photos of the ship correctly, avoid creating a nuisance of yourself, and complete the mission in under 20 minutes. As we're on a timeline, let's jump straight in. All right, so we'll jump into Trevor's truck. And it's just a case of following the GPS to Pier 400 there at the port. Okay, and as we enter the port, we'll just slow it down a touch and then swing off to the right as we go through to the checkpoint. Head on through and then go and report to the office. Okay, so Wade will be whisked off to work with a um, waste treatment incident and Floyd and Trevor will be left to their own devices. So we'll just follow Floyd. Can't run on this one, which I just find infuriating, but at least the walking pace is similar. As we head over to the loader, uh, we'll get a talking to by one of uh, presumably Floyd's supervisors. I'm in. And we're off. So the thing to remember here is this little doodad steers from the rear like a forklift. So it can be a little bit squirrely the first couple of times you use it. Make sure you have a full square approach there. Back it up and adjust if you need to. We've got a full 20 minutes here, so you can t make sure you take a little bit of extra time. You don't need to necessarily be super spot on, but uh, you also don't need to rush yourself there. So once you've grabbed the container and you, as you saw, you don't need to be lined up, just lift it up a touch and then head back to the, uh, the next bay. All right, swing in and then park near one of the end bays and drop off the container and head back to the next one. Just make sure that you at least leave one extra bay spare for the second container that we're about to drop off. All right, head up, square yourself up again. Make sure you don't run anyone over because then you'll fail the mission. They will get quite upset. Down we go, and then grab that and just lift again. Doesn't need to be much, a couple of inches off the ground and away we go. Now the trick is to watch out for those yellow bollards on the right, they can catch you. Just missed. And drop him off again. The next thing is to head to the cranes, just drive around to it, make sure you don't hit anyone, it is very easy to do that with this, the visibility is pretty damn poor. Alright, when you get close to the crane, just jump out. Up the stairs and off we go.
All right, now be careful not to jump. Once you're in, same thing again. Line yourself up over a container. And scroll all the way to the end. Okay, so line yourself up with the truck. And you can use the, the positioning cameras as well to make sure that you are dead on line with this, which will change the angle. So once that's down, release the container. There we go. And then just, again, raise the boom a few few inches and then uh, head back to the next one. Now, as you can see, we've had a bit of practice with this one. But again, don't be afraid to change views to line yourself up a bit easier. And the end, line up and then just drop down and grab the container. Don't need to be bang on. Near enough is good enough. The, uh, the software will correct. There we go. Yeah, the software will correct for you if you're uh, just a few inches off. Raise up a bit and then head back. Okay, and then down again and just line up the container a bit. That's been a bit cheeky and, and moves you a few inches to the side there. Once that's down, release. There we go. Okay, so Trevor will clamber out. We need to climb up the ladder. Head out to the end of this boom and grab the camera out. Now we want three photos here. We need the front, the middle, and the back of the ship. There's one. Two. Yep. And then... All the way to the back. Three, there we go. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is send off the photos. So just send that off and then it'll pop up the uh, phone and just send those off to Ron. Right, wander back, clamber up. Drop down and then head back to the ladder now again be very careful not to accidentally run or jump otherwise it will end poorly down the stairs and then finally down the ladder all right over to the semi jump in and we're going to sneak around and um, deliberately antagonize the Merryweather guys. So just in case of following the GPS, again, be really careful not to hit anyone. The temptation is to go really quick, but don't. So wait for the gate through and follow the GPS to the, uh, the warehouse. All right. Through the area, past any trucks. Round to the right, and then we'll slow it down and pull in around to the left. Take a nice wide arc here as well. There we go. Sneak past. Make sure we don't clip that fella down the bottom and in and up to the marker. So at this point, Merriweather get quite upset. Skip this. And then head on out now that Trevor has snaffled the briefcase. Excellent, so just grab any vehicle. Oh, I like the look of this buffalo. Just um, borrow that. And uh, Ron will, of course, give you a call. So just have a listen to what he has to say while we're following the GPS back to Floyd's apartment. So while we're heading back to the apartment, it's probably an opportune time to mention that we recently launched our Patreon page. Patreon backers get access to most videos early, are automatically entered into exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws, receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're playing online. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. And while you're there, 
Don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favorite social media platform, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. Okay, as we make our way back down the last of the Floyd Street and pull in, jump out and then head upstairs. And we are greeted with um, Wade, which, uh, yeah, I can't even, I can't even imagine. But there we go. That's gold. So thanks for watching to the end. Here are my top tips. Take it easy with the shipping container handler. Even though there's a time limit, we don't need the containers busted. And I highly recommend selecting the offshore method for this one, as you get a cargo bob for later use in the later game. So... What are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the prep mission mini sub or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.